Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the second part of our VirtualBox tutorial. And today we're going to be going over the installation process for installing Ubuntu onto a virtual machine once you've made one. So for those of you who remember from the last video, we went through the process of creating this Ubuntu demo virtual machine. I'm going to go into settings here. And if we go down to storage, you'll see that I have already added an Ubuntu ISO, uh, an Ubuntu ISO which means that when it's booting up it's going to boot into that ISO image and we're going to be going to be able to go through our install process these are the settings that I am currently using right now yours might be a little bit different I'm gonna do just a quick run through in the settings menu as well you'll see that I've chosen Ubuntu 64-bit because I downloaded the 64-bit ISO image uh, for network I've chosen to start with NAT we'll go a little bit more in depth on what each of these different settings means in the future but for now I recommend you also start with NAT that can always be changed later on after you have installed Ubuntu so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click this green start arrow up here You can see here the version of Ubuntu I'm using is 16.04. Another popular version is, I believe, 14.04, but 16.04 is a little bit more recent. I recommend going with just whatever the newest version of Ubuntu is. In just a moment we're going to see it's going to give us the option to either try Ubuntu or to install it. Trying Ubuntu would let us boot in as if it was a standard Ubuntu instance that was installed on the machine. Installing Ubuntu will actually install it onto a hard drive, in this case the virtual hard drive. But the, di the difference is that when you try Ubuntu, when you restart, it does not actually install the operating system and so it you would have to continue to have the ISO in and no, nothing would actually be stored. So what we're going to do is we're going to install Ubuntu. You can ch choose your language over here, though I imagine most people who are watching this video are going to choose English. We're going to click install. Here you, you can choose to check either of these. Um, downloading the updates while you're installing will make the install take a little bit longer but it means that you won't have to run an update as soon as you're finished installing which if you are planning to change off of NAT very soon after the installation process perhaps since we are currently in NAT mode which means we are going to have access to the internet perhaps you would want to do that now it's up to you I'm going to choose to save time during the installation process and not select those checkboxes All right, because this is a virtual machine and it's only going to have one operating system on it, we are going to choose to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. Uh, there are other things you can do. For example, if you were installing Ubuntu onto your host machine, you might choose to install it alongside an existing Windows or Mac operating system. There are other options down here. Uh, for example, this encrypt option but because this is again a virtual machine those are probably not going to be helpful or important so we're just going to leave it at erase disk and install Ubuntu 
Uh, this is erasing the disk on the virtual hard drive, which currently doesn't have anything on it anyways. This is not going to erase your hard drive of your actual desktop or laptop or whatever you're installing this on. This is just a warning saying, hey, we're going to erase things. We're going to write stuff to the disk and so on. We go ahead and click continue. Again, this is only happening on the virtual hard drive. Uh, you can choose your time zone here. I'm just going to leave mine as New York. Here you are choosing your keyboard setup. Again, if you're watching this video, you're probably going to want to choose English. So I'm just going to click continue. And let's see here. Let's just make the name Ubuntu Demo. And we're going to leave the password blank because this is only a demo. I highly recommend against that. If you are doing anything that would require some form of security or perhaps you're working with any sort of sensitive information. But because this is only meant for a demo, I'm going to leave my passwords blank. Or perhaps I can't do that anymore. Okay, my bad. So I'm going to put in just a really simple password. And here you can choose either let it log in automatically and it will just put in your password when you started the VM. Or you can have it require the password to log in. This is obviously more secure. All right, we've completed our installation process, and we're just going to go ahead and click this. And as soon as we're out of the installer and it begins its reboot process, we can just go ahead and close this down. You're going to want to change save the machine state over to power off the machine. Click OK. Go to settings. We want to go into storage. And we can just go ahead and click this little button here and remove that ISO. Because if we don't, we'll just go right back into the installer. And you'll see now when we restart the virtual machine we should go right up into Ubuntu. Here we are at our login screen. I'm going to put in the password I used before. And when it's done loading, you'll see that we now have a fully functional Ubuntu virtual machine. And while it does that, I just want to go ahead and thank you guys for joining us on this video. This has been Cormac Phillips from 
Cyber at UC, the student OWASP chapter at the University of Cincinnati. You can find more videos like this, as well as our weekly meetings, on our channel on YouTube.